Over a quarter century ago, my father stood before you to accept the nomination for the presidency of the United States. John Kennedy Jr. was born into a political dynasty. His father, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, was the 35th president of the United States. His mother, Jacqueline, a former debutante and book editor, was one of the world's most photographed women. John Kennedy Jr. was just two when his father was assassinated. His mother, Jacqueline, would be his most important influence. He went to law school because that's what his mom wanted him to do. He became a DA because that's what his mom wanted him to do. Kennedy tried to fit into the family mold with his love for public service, but the press hounded him. When he flunked the New York State Bar exam several times, it made tabloid headlines. But ultimately, it was his love life that captured public interest. He dated both Madonna and Daryl Hannah, and in 1988, People magazine named him the sexiest man alive. He was our best-selling sexiest man alive ever. Nobody has sold more copies of that issue than JFK Jr. In 1996, Kennedy finally settled down with Carolyn Bassett, and the duo married quietly on an island off the coast of Georgia. It was around this time that John decided to publish a political magazine called George. Ladies and gentlemen, meet George. Although Kennedy kept politics at a distance, there was always some speculation that he would throw his hat in the ring. Not today, but it's something that, you know, you never say never. His young life was cut short when a plane he was piloting crashed. His wife and sister-in-law were with him. John Kennedy Jr. was buried at sea at the age of 38.